Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. Hope you are doing great. Today I'll be making fish roll. If you are interested, let's get started. So now I'm going to introduce you to what I'm using. Two and a half cup of all-purpose flour, extra virgin olive oil, water, four sliced mackerel fish, four tablespoons of butter, salt, sugar, thyme, baking powder, half onions, one egg, one maggi cube and curry powder. I know you'll be wondering why is she using thyme, onions, maggi cube and curry powder for? I'm going to be using it to spice the fish. I will not put it when missing the pastries. Please don't worry. I'll pour my well clean fish inside the pot. I'll add quarter teaspoon of thyme, quarter teaspoon of curry powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, one maggi cube. I'll pour in my diced onions. I'll stir it around so that all these ingredients I just added will enter into the fish. I'll pour half cup of water inside the pot. I'll mix it together. Some people fry their fish but I love to cook my fish when doing my fish roll. I'll cover it and allow it to cook for 5 minutes. While my fish is cooking, I'll go and start making my pastries. So the first thing I do is to mix the dry ingredients together. I will add 1 teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of sugar. I will mix it together. The reason why I add sugar is because the sugar will balance the taste of the fish roll. The butter already has salt and my fish is already spiced. That is the reason why I had sugar. After mixing the dry ingredients, I will add the wet ones. I will add my melted butter. I will mix it together until it becomes combo. When it looks crumbling like this, you cannot add your egg. I will pour in the wheat egg. I'll mix it together so that all the egg will go all over. After that, I'll add water. You put the water bit by bit, you don't need much water. Then I will mix it again. I'll add another water again, then mix it. The dough does not need to be soft or hard. I'll continue adding water until I get the perfect dough that I can work with. This is how the dough is meant to look like. I'll cover it with a fin, then set it aside for 5 minutes and go and continue with my fish. So guys, this is how my fish looks after cooking it for 5 minutes. Within the period of that 5 minutes, I was coming to turn it round so that the other part of the fish can cook as well. When doing my pastries, I took more than 5 minutes, so I already put off the gas. I just wanted to see how the fish look after cooking it for 5 minutes. Now, I will take out the fish from the pot. I will take out the onions. I will mix these onions with the fish after removing the bone from the fish. There's this taste the onion gives to the fish roll is very nice. After removing the fish from the pot, I will take out all the bones from the fish. As you can see, this is how I remove the bone from my fish. After that, I will mash it together so that the fish will break into smaller pieces. When matching it, if you see more bone, please remove it. I will mix it with the onions together so that everything will enter inside the fish properly. 
so guys this is how my fish look after matching it after five minutes i'll open my cover dough i will sprinkle some flour on the board so that the dough will not stick when rolling it on the board i'll cut some dough and put on the board after that i'll also rub some flour on the rolling pin so that when rolling the dough the dough will not stick to the rolling pin So this is how flat you want your dough to be. I will add 1 tablespoon of fish inside the dough. I will push it back like this. I will cover the fish with my dough like this and press it down. I don't know if you can see it. I will pinch the edge of the dough like this so that the fish will not come out when frying it. Then I will roll it. Then this end part, I will pinch it down as well with my finger so that when frying it, it won't open. Then roll it again. So guys, this is how it looks. This is how I'm going to do the rest of the dough. So this is how my fish roll look after rolling it. Now I'll go and fry it. Before you start frying your fish roll, Make sure you put a paper towel inside the sieve. The paper towel will take out the excess oil out of the fish roll. As you can see, my oil is already inside the pot. I've started preheating it on a lower heat. My oil is already hot a little bit. So now I'll start putting my fish roll inside. I like putting my fish roll two at a time so that I'll be able to turn it very well. You can put as many as you want. It's up to you. Keep frying the fish roll until you have a golden color, then you take it out. You can see how golden my fish roll looks. This is how yours should look when you take it out of the hoyer. Then now put it inside my sieve. So guys, this is how my fish roll looks after frying it. If you love this recipe, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and put on the bell notification button so that you know when I upload video. Everything I use will be down in the description box below. Thanks for watching. God bless you. See you guys next time. Bye.